Welcome to Gunners Lovers TV. I'm your host, Augustine. The clash between Arsenal and Bayern Munich has raised a lot of dust, and the dust is yet to settle. Harry Kane and uh, Bukayo Saka ha had a very strong uh, uh, argument after the match ended on the controversy of the penalty. And after that, uh, the coach of Bayern Munich, Thomas Tuchel, also said that they are supposed to have had a penalty too. That um, when he approached the referee, the referee told him that the error was a schoolboy error. That is not something he should give a penalty for in the Champions League. So Gabriel collected the ball uh, when he was not supposed to use his hand to collect it. And uh, it was a very insignificant error. But Tuchel wanted Arsenal punished for it. So, but the referee threw that away and said that um, it's a schoolboy error. He's not going to bring himself that low to go and give a penalty for that. And uh, Arsenal too are not happy with the referee for also cancelling out our supposed penalty. He did not only cancel it, there was no VAR check, and he also blew the final whistle, insult upon injury. So those are the two things that came up. And um, after that, a review of the match was going on. Even the pundits, there was controversy among all of them, whether it was a penalty, whether it was not a penalty. One notable figure or person that I would like to talk about is Jamie Carragher of Sky Sports. Um, he said that um, among the three, in fact, he was asked to predict the scores for the matches that took place uh, on Tuesday. He said between Atletico Madrid and uh, Borussia Dortmund, Atletico Madrid is going to win. And he also said that um, between Real Madrid and uh, Manchester City, he still thinks Manchester City will win. But the one he did not get right was that he thought uh, Bayern would beat Arsenal. At the end of the day, it was a draw. In fact, Arsenal even scored first, if not for defensive errors. Of course, there must be an error sometimes in football before goal can come in. We could have, we would have, if, 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 would have won the match. So, and then the most important thing or funny thing he ended up with was that he still maintains that Manchester City is going to win the uh, Premier League. But he describes them that out of the three between Arsenal, and, uh, Manchester City and Real Madrid, he feels that the club, he had a dig at uh, Manchester City, he feels that the club with the 115 charges will still win the, the Champions League. The club with 115 charges, yet to be charged, yet to be given, well, they've been charged, but the punishment has not been met at up to today. You see, why everything has gone two rounds? If it was Nigeria... You are eating now. They will say two rounds of uh, Eba, two rounds of uh, Semovita, two rounds of Pandediam. You have eaten twice. Everything has eaten twice. Eh? Punished properly. And now Manchester City has not even been punished once. <laughs> oh my God. The Premier League is really a drama. Now we move to other news. It is very, very popular on social media at the moment how the impact of the substitution made by Ateta led to our 2-2 two -two draw. Now, Trossard has scored in four of his uh, Champions League entrants. Four. Four different clubs. I think Sevilla, Porto, uh, Bayern, PSV. He has scored in all. So, he's a super impact uh, player. Now, Jesus finished Eric Dia and his co Braithwell, so they call him. He finished them at the defense to release that ball to Trossard. 
Trossard was on the left side, and Jesus was in the middle. You know, Jesus, uh, even though he doesn't score goals regularly, is a menace to defenders. When he came in, he danced and danced in the 18-year box, confused the defenders. They went right, he went left, and gave the ball straight to Trossard. Of course, Trossard knew where to put the ball beyond the reach of Manenoa. And that's how we scored our equalizer. So Jesus, even though he's not scoring at the moment, is also very, very uh, prolific in terms of, uh, you know, his all-round game. And those two players, when they came in, they really changed the game for Arsenal. Ateta has spoken uh, after the 2-2 two -two draw. He has made it clear that um, the punishment for not winning your match in Champions League is, is very clear. If you don't take your chances, you get punished. He made particular reference to Ben White's one-on-one, uh, -on -one, almost one-on-one -on -one with the goalkeeper, Manenoa, that if Ben White has scored that goal, perhaps uh, Bayern Munich would have been... Uh, that's a very big blow, and we could have won the match. All this, if we could have, is everywhere, so you can pick it on the street. So, he's made one point clear. If we must have a chance of progressing to semi-finals in the second leg, it shows that we have to take all our chances. You see, we have to take all our chances. I have suggested on Gunnar Slovas TV that Trossard should be allowed to start that match, because as it is, Martinelli has not reached his peak. Martinelli will be galvanized to play better if he comes from the bench at the moment. That's what I think. Yeah. On a final note, Liverpool is dancing around the globe to look for a successor for Klopp. One notable name being mentioned now is Amori, the coach for Sporting. So, he is very experienced. He had an internship, so to say, with Mourinho, Jose Mourinho, former coach of Chelsea, former coach of Roma. Uh, he got one or two experience from him. He admires Mourinho's style of play. But um, Liverpool is trying to get him. We are told now on social media that he has verbally agreed to take over from uh, club, Jürgen Klopp. But... Um, until the rumor is substantiated with signing of contract, we cannot uh, say he's coming to Liverpool at the moment. Alonso of Leverkusen has ruled himself out of the running. He said he's very happy at Leverkusen. Of course, he's giving Leverkusen the title this year. And the Bayern is also striving to see if they can get Alonso to replace Thomas Tuchel. All these are rumors on the pages of newspaper and in the media. Like, share, and subscribe. You know what can pass. This is Gonna Slovas TV. Remember, Jesus Christ loves you. And we love you here on this channel. Share this video to your friends, neighbors, and families, and colleagues. And I'll see you in our next video. Bye.